Hey -o everybody, Haku here with my live reaction for Monster Musume no Iru Nichi Joe Everyday Life with Monster Girls, Chapter 75. Um, yeah, I'm, I've had to find this at a different site than usual, because uh, the other one wasn't working for whatever reason. So if anything's weird, it's because of that. But either way, I'm excited to read. I loved the first chapter of the School Arc stuff. Um, I think it's a really interesting concept, and hopefully the series can follow through on it. Uh, so let's see what we get. Starting from the start, from the latest in online learning to the classics of black magic, Grimoire Public High School Guide. Alright. Neat. Seeing all these random background girls. Hey, I told you you can, or I told you I can walk just fine. It's not really that far to the dorms anyway. Senpai, I can't believe you. You twisted your ankle and, or you twisted your ankle. I can't let you push yourself. But, I mean... But I mean, riding on a centaur's back is a little, you know, are you talking about the vow to never let anyone but your true partner ride on your back? Honestly, these days, it's only the old-fashioned country centaurs who say stuff like that. Really? But well, if it's you, then I guess it's okay. Huh? What was that? I couldn't quite hear you over the hoofbeats. What? You couldn't hear me? You're sitting right there. Uh, I mean, humans have the worst hearing. You sure you're not one of those anime protagonists who conveniently can't hear things? N no, I uh, just really couldn't or couldn't hear you. Just say it one more time for me. Oh, fine, if you want me to. I was saying I don't ma or I was saying as long as it's you, I don't. And we see Poppy slowly falling from the sky. Ouch! What? How? What's going on? What the hell was? Are, are you all right? And she just crash landed into the ri er, river. I'm assuming. Pwah. Oh no, oh man, Poppy was sleep flying. Ugh, Poppy is soaked, like it's so gross, and she throws her clothes off and flies away again. Your clothes! Alright, more shots of the school. Air rifle shooting range, let's aim for nationals. We see more like this uh, land harpy running to school. So after all that, there really isn't anyone besides me who's sane after all. Normally, I'd rely on Miss Smith, but she's a... Yeah. Hey, let's all take some pics on the way home. Or maybe some bubble tea would be better. Uh, y yeah, sounds fun. Man, what am I gonna do? Hubby! Poppy! Hey, where are your clothes? Well, Poppy fell in the lake and got wet, so Poppy took them all off. You can't just throw off your clothes because you got wet, you know. But Poppy normally doesn't wear those clothes anyway. Hey, Hubby, when are we going home? Home? Uh, she means the student dorms. When we first got pulled in here, I started in the dorms, after all. Since I was wearing a uniform, I just sort of went with it and headed to school, but... And I love that Poppy is just going to be the one so oblivious that she doesn't fall for this. You're right. We'll just have to deal with it. Let's head back to the student dorms. Prudent forms? Poppy, you should head home to your room at the girls' dorm. Huh? Why would Poppy go there? Poppy wants to go home. Hmm? But... Actually, why are you at school, hubby? You're not a student. Let's go home and have dinner. Puppy wants curry tonight. Huh? We have Grim Grimoire Public High School Men's Student Dormitory. Alright. Come on, hold it together. I'll take you back to the girls' dorm. So, just don't fall asleep. Ain't gonna happen. My body temperature's too low. I can barely stand. That AC did a number on me. Hey, I'm begging you. I can't stand anymore, so can you... Take me to an ice warm bath. There's no way I can do that, you kidding? Just taking a girl into the guys' dorm is bad enough, but getting in my bath, I'd get busted for sure. Even if it was to save someone. If my body temperature gets any lower, I'll start hibernating. And once that's started, it'll last for months. Do you know how big a deal it, or that much time is lost to a student? All that lost youth, all that studying to make up for, you gonna take responsibility for that? For someone on the brink of hibernating, you sure said er, that all pretty damn clearly. It's fine, we're just getting in the bath together. Not like, er, not like I'm planning on warming up by cuddling or anything. Huh, you didn't mention getting in together at first, though. And hey, you seem pretty strong all of a sudden. Aren't you supposed to be almost hibernating? Let's get snug in the tub. Man, this is one busy dorm. Who's enforcing the rules around here? Well, it's not like I can comment on a situation like that. Put some clothes on, Poppy. Okay, so just to check, when did you come to your senses? Swing for the fences? I mean, just thinking like, sure is weird around here. When was that? Um, I guess just a minute ago, I guess. 
Poppy wanted to go home, but Poppy didn't know which way to fly, so uh, your usual weirdly reliable homing instinct wasn't working. Then, wherever Poppy flew, it always ended up being the school again. Poppy didn't understand anything going on. I see. I thought maybe we could just get out of here if we got away from the school, but it doesn't look like it'll be that easy after all. And it's not like I can just leave everyone else how they are, even if Poppy comes back to normal. Or even if Poppy seems back to normal. And we have text from the rest. From Mia, does anyone know what the test tomorrow covers? From Mero, was it the Japanese test, or did you mean the math test? Centoria, Mia, I think you should be taking these classes a little more seriously. Rakanera, right there she goes lecturing again. Sue is hungry, 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 hungry. Ah, fine, fine, we get it already, I'll bring you some snacks. But wait, according to Poppy, that would mean that this world where our consciousnesses are all trapped, the world inside the book is actually an endless loop where nothing outside the school area exists at all. And on top of that, all the teachers and the lunch lady or the staff at the clothes store where I bought Poppy's clothes, they're all like NPCs just reading their lines in a game or something. Which means not everyone in here is a real person, or they've been made by the book just like the rest of the world. But the real question is why? To make a world that's not all, or that's only a school and fill it with a bunch of NPCs, then steal a bunch of people's minds, make them think they're students, and have them attend classes. Just what is this book aiming at? I told you I ain't scared, alright. Hey, come on, quit yelling, trying to hide it like that. I ain't hiding in, or I, I ain't hiding anything, dammit. If I say I ain't scared, I ain't scared, got it. Besides, ain't no way some dumb or kid stuff like school ghost stories is gonna be scary. It's just because I don't have good night vision, so I don't like dark places is all. Oh, is that so? You sure it's er, not because you can't see so well at night that you're scared of ghosts, right? I keep telling you, I ain't afraid of ghosts, all right. Are these two going to be actual characters? Because I'm not going to lie, I haven't liked so far that we've fallen back into the same thing that I always talk about with the worst parts of the series, where it's just like random background girls that don't mean anything and we're never going to see again. I prefer to like actually have actual characters. Um, come on, come on, you're actually super scared, aren't you? You've got goosebumps, don't you, even though you're a harpy? N knock it off. Stop looking. Or er, get your feathers off my clothes already. Okay, okay, let's all just calm down. But Prez, is it really true there's ghost stories for our school? Well, I only heard about it recently, but as the president of the Occult Research Club, it's quite pitiful how little we know. Th that's right. Besides, for schools, it's supposed to be like seven of them, right? The school seven's mysteries, uh, is what everyone says, right? But we only got five is what I heard, so there ain't no way I'm going to be scared of some half-assed ghost like that. Um, yep, QED. Um, oh, did you know about all five of them then? The school's five ghost stories, huh? I actually didn't know we had any at all. Oh, ho, is that so? In that case, well, how about I just tell you about them all then? Every night, every night, they say you can hear someone crying in the girls' bathroom. A girl with a red skirt and a bowl cut, the toilet haunting Hanako-san. But here in our sc er, school, they say it's only one eye, so then, obviously Monaco then. Number one ghost story, the one-eyed Hanako-san. Then there's a story of a girl, so it's all just going to be Mon. There's a girl who was captured by the crazed serial killer professor. They say he tore her apart, or er, after he tore her apart, she was put back together as a zombie. The professor is long gone, but they say the zombie still pref er, preserved in formaldehyde, when the, er, in the science lab where she's still hidden. And then the science room formaldehyde zombie. If you just glance at the window, you'll see a lone girl who meets your gaze. But wait, something strange. Isn't that a second story window? And then the 10 meter giant girl. If you look at your reflection in the mirror and it's your own face staring back, but wait, there, sh er, there shouldn't be a mirror here at all. And that's when the other you starts calling out. We look just the same, why don't we switch places? The clone who steals your life. Something drops down the stairs. Oh, and uh, Lala. Um, something drops down the stairs. A white ball? You think, er, is what you think as a girl comes searching for it, and she can't seem to find that ball. Which, of course, she can't because the ball she was searching for was her own head. The white haired headless girl. I know. Since we're all uh, here, why don't we sneak into the school tonight? We can see if the stories are true. Oh ho, if you're scared, you can bring your boyfriend. I don't mind, you know. But he's not my boyfriend, he's just, you know, 
It's settled then. I'll bring along my faithful er, occult club assistant too. A one-eyed Hanako-san, a stitched up zombie, a giant girl, a clone, and a headless girl. Wait, don't tell me that's... Alright. I, you all know I hate being negative about anything. And this is gonna suck because I'm gonna have to be. I didn't think that chapter was very good. I just... I hate chapters like this where it's just background girls that don't mean anything because we're never going to see them again. It's not real characters. We got a little bit of Poppy which was nice but barely anything. Again it was mostly just background stuff like ooh the lizard girl's taking this guy into the bath which I don't care about because it's not a real character. Or the centaur at the beginning I don't care about because it's not a real character. Um, it's not even like insanely great etchy or anything and I think that's Maybe also because the best that she is based on knowing the characters. Um, yeah, it wasn't great. The end was neat with the stories, but again, it would be nice if that was... Like, imagine if this was Poppy and Kudus going through whatever and meeting this owl girl, and the whole chapter was about them meeting this owl girl, her, her being an actual character, and then she tells the two of them all those stories, and then we we have that of, oh, let's go look for those five or whatever. Um, that, again, would have just easily been a much better setup. Um, so yeah, not going to lie, I wasn't a fan of it. Because, again, I've mentioned in the past, all of the best arcs of the series, all of the best segments of the series, are when we're getting a new character or a returning side character and one of the main characters and we're just developing two of them and telling stories with the two of them. Uh, that's always what the best parts of the series have been for years and years and years. And for years and years and years, the least good or the worst parts of the series are long arcs with a bunch of meaningless background characters. Uh, like the Lamia arc, like arguably the farm arc, but the farm arc really wasn't that bad in hindsight. Um, the mermaid arc, which is still pretty good. Uh, the mermaid arc introduces new characters and it's pretty good, uh, but it's definitely not the best. It was the first arc that I didn't 100% love uh, way back in the past. So yeah, this is just sort of the Black Lily stuff is not good. Um, so yeah, it's just, again, falling into the tropes that are there in the worst parts of the series, not the best parts of the series, uh, which is a bit of a bummer. When again, it's not like it's not like uh, Okayato couldn't make this character. He made the design for this Al character. He made them the leader of the occult club or whatever. It's not like he couldn't write that as its own character. Um, so the really, it, I can't be like, oh well, it's because it's easier that way. It's it, you can't keep introducing new characters. Um, because you'll just have too many. I would rather introduce new characters and have a bunch of them that barely get any time than waste so much of a chapter that we don't get that often on stuff that just doesn't matter at all. Um, so yeah, I just think that, uh, I hope that that was a constructive criticism. I'm not just sitting here trying to hate on it. I'm trying to explain like what it is I don't like and how it is I thought it could have easily been better. Uh, but either way, that's it. Thank you so much for watching. Like, if you did like the video, comment down there to tell me what you thought of the chapter, what you thought of my thoughts and all that. Subscribe for more Monmusu. Been doing this for like five plus years. Uh, follow on Twitter if you want. If you want to link to the Discord server, ask and I'll give you one. Um, if you want to help support the channel on Patreon, it's patreon.com slash taco of the tubes or a link will be in the description. Either way, that's it. Thank you for watching and I'll see you all next time.